Yo, kau bagi pasangan tambah aku ngabi. It's your boy Eri the underpaid graphic designer and welcome to Student Union. Yay! Alright, so yeah, I've been looking around Steam Shop and then came upon this game and it looks kind of cool. It's some so it it's kind of like a dark. It, it says it's kind of like a dark visual novel or something. I just hope it's not really that graphic in any sort of ways, but. I'm seeing the review is quite positive. Thinking about giving it a try. As you can see, it's currently version 0.1.5, and it's still in a demo state. I mean, I mean, like it's still a demo version. So I thought about like, hmm, it's going to be released in 2022. So why not give it a try right now? Right? You know, no harm in doing it. So yeah. Anyways, without further ado, let's uh, start. To be honest, I don't have any clue of what kind of story is this. Blood, dirt, and sweat coat my arms to the elbows, and I can no longer tell where any of it came from. Wait, hold on a sec. If I keep going with this, I'll eventually be caught. Ooh. What the hell am I going to do? Still trying to figure out what kind of person is our protagonist. Turner! A teacher rushes into the office, pushing the door with more force than necessary. I flinch in my seat and sit upright. Dot dot dot. It's cute. After taking a step in, she stops. She finds me in the chair across from the empty desk. Oh, hey, you're in my class this year, aren't you? Lane. Really, that's her name? Lane. Really? Okay. Hey, Mrs. Webb. Yeah, this year's the first. Whoa, <laughs> she just moved forward. <laughs> she eyes me with suspicion. Suspicion. What are you doing in here? I was called in on the intercom earlier. So I'm not sure yet. Okay, let's keep waiting. She holds back annoyance, though not very well. As she exits, she closes the door more softly than she opened it. I look at the space around me. Well, oh, man, it's been a while since I played any visual novel game, man. And suddenly, this this kind of BGM just just hits me. <laughs> It's so obvious, I played a lot of VS back in the day. Anyways, this is the first time I've been here. The administration offices are sectioned off from the classrooms, and this one dwarfs the others. Unattended coffee, or maybe it's tea, sits on the desk. Steam coming from the cup, wafts in sunlight entering from the window. I take a breath while combing the office with my eyes. Actually, by the smell, it's definitely coffee. On the wall, there's a framed certificate titled Masters of Business Administration. It was issued from a prestigious university about six years ago. Near the degree are sets of frames arrayed with pink butterflies, a wireframe model of a... Oh, the decahedron rests on the desk. Sorry, I have mild... I have mild... Dyslexia, it took me some time to actually even organize words, okay? <laughs> Interrupting my fidgeting, and this time without a knock, a well-dressed man enters and greets me with a smile. I don't know what to say, but he kinda looks like a cheap knockoff off in Kyoma, to be honest. <laughs> Hi there, Lane. Thanks for being patient. I am the assistant principal, Mr. Underwood. I must not be in trouble, so I stand and extend my hand. Oh, I can't. It is very refreshing to see actually like an actual animation inside visual novels. I think it's uh, a usual thing around these days, but I don't know. It's there was like a huge gap in time from the last time I played visual novels. <laughs> His smile curves strongly at the gesture, and he shakes my hand firmly. His grip is stronger than mine. Sasuke, Kimen, 
<laughs> he closes the door behind him, walks to his desk, and sits himself. Go ahead. Sit. I heard that you were asking around about all jobs you could do for the school. I turn to the same chair across from his desk that I'd been warming and leaned forward. Yes, sir. I was wondering if I could make extra money during the school year. I was thinking of saving up for college. Admirable. You are in your senior year, right? Why not get a summer job? I work at the library downtown over the break. I was trying to figure out something more local. Bus schedule makes it tricky though. The Kafka Library, yes. A bit of commute. Nearly an hour each way. He drinks from his coffee and looks past me for a moment. Well, I do have something. I've been introducing the idea to a few of the other seniors. What is your background? I strained up my up in my seat a bit. I've had this interview like exchange a few times. I'm from here, so I grew up with a lot of students. Not that I know them all well, but I'm not shy. My grades are important to me. I'm a hard worker and I've had lots of jobs. Probably more than other students. Mr. Underwood seems receptive and maintains eye contact with me. I notice his thumbing uh, how to say that thumbing the side of scope. Okay. He's, he, he's trying to read. <laughs> okay. His fingernail colors white from the pressure. Okay. Where else? I work at the pass and gas. The gas station? Yeah. I work after shifts on weekends for a while. I stock shelves at the grocery too. Also, they sometimes need help at the water treatment plant and hire interns. So I've done work there on and off. You stay busy. All your work will pay off and you should feel proud. I grip my teeth and hold back any response. After a couple seconds, I pass. I nod slightly. Mr. Underwood pats a small tag of papers on his desk. You have excellent grades too. You're a strong candidate. However, something I cannot glean from your file is whether or not you are able to work with a little instruction. What I need is a student to take the project and run with it, reporting in weekly. He pauses, waiting for a response. I'm nervous, not from the content of the conversation, from something else. My face may betray me by a time of confident nod. I'd be happy to. Eh, I'd be happy to try. What do you need? I need someone with an entrepreneurial. Uh, <laughs> my English, English fail. I need someone with it. I need someone with an entrepreneurial spirit to take the lead on forming a student union. It is in the experimental phase, and I am trying to convince the board it is available to both students involved and the administration. Despite an upfront cost, as the president, you would be put. Eh, as the president, you would put in a minimum amount of 10 hours in a week. Report to me directly, and you would have a small budget. 10 hours will not be a problem. Do you mean a group to represent all the students? As you might know, our school receives federal funding. Our facility is part of the public education system, so our local government is mandated to allocate money to us. Purpose maintain resources for our students. The amount received may fluctuate when officials of uh, yeah. The amount we receive may fluctuate when officials change offices, policies, policies, legislation, or the state takes in more or less than anticipated. <laughs> Our school system tends to be placed below other priorities, though. What sort of initiatives, I guess, are more important in the school? It depends on whom you ask. Insurance programs, infrastructures, subsidizing local businesses, law enforcement, and assistance to struggling families, of course. At mention of his last example, I catch myself looking at the worn tip of my sneaker and redirect my gaze to Mr. Underwood. <laughs> Mr. Underwood smiles. You are not going to find many who disagree that the education is important. Many moving pieces play a role in the decision making. But I did not call you in here to talk about that. Our administration receives a cut of the budget, and, de and we then craft our school budget from it. Year over year, the student population has been increasing, while our funding has been decreasing. 
Is that why there's no sign of? Yeah. Is that why there's no sign up for track this year? That came out more accusatory than I intended. Oh no. Oh no. Make an oopsie. Oh no. We are taking a hard look at all our extracurricular programs. Student representation is not the goal. Service to the school is. We need additional manpower and this is a relatively cheap method. And it, and it presents you with an opportunity to help the school. If you do well and recruit some of your hardworking friends, you will make a positive impact. I cannot make promises beyond guaranteeing your paycheck. Deep breath, collecting confidence to put forth my most important question. Of course. <laughs> uh, how much will I be paid? Minimum wage, the same one you received from the library. He responded without hesitation. He was prepared. It's disappointing, but not more than I can realistically expect. Of course, when I mean, you're working for the school, not as teacher or administration, but just, just, just an experimental body inside the organization, I think. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Miss Dunwood downs the rest of his drink and glances at the clock on the wall. Are you interested? I hesitate only for a moment. I need this. I'm out of other options. That's cool. <laughs> Maybe I can reconnect with some old friend. I equip confidence and impress Mr. Underwood. Definite. Seems complicated, but I can help with whatever you need. Are you sure? This is not a small project. For me either. He glances at the wall behind me again. Yes, sir. What sort of work will I be doing? Underwood smiles. There you go. First, I believe that you can support some of our administrative functions. We need someone to man the library here. Two, for example. <laughs> library again. Wow. <laughs> we may also utilize you, your team for event planning services. We have access faculty rooms and spacious conference areas. I want to rent those for the external events to earn revenue. Oh, like hosting workshops and conferences? I help the library with scheduling seminars. Yes, I need to develop a formal list of your responsibilities and the responsibilities of the union as a whole. Give board approval and get some paperwork to you. What you need to do in the meantime is vital. Please recruit at least four other students by the end of the week. That will demonstrate it to the board that we actually have interested and ambitious students to fill the program. It will not work if you are the only participant. Oh. I understand that one, Lane. I understand that one. <laughs> like a bucket of water thrown on a freshly lit, lit match. Mr. Underwood senses my mood swing. You can ask some of your... Seems to catch himself and continues after an awkward lapse. Your classmates for help. It will actually be great exercise for you in preparing for your role as delegator. We have intelligent and creative students here, and I'm sure you will find a handful willing to support their school. Yeah, I can do that. By Friday then. Yes. All of you meet here and I'll give everyone an update and initial push. Do you... Wow. Classic. Bell rings, Mr. Andrew gestures, the door. You better head to, head to the next period. I would hate to consume more of your time than I should. If you have questions, feel free to reach out by phone or email. Fluently, Mr. Underwood places his business card in my hand as I stand. It's a neat design. The card lists of his office number, uh, office phone number, cell phone number, and email address. Is it strange to give your cell phone number to a student? He seems devoted. I nod and reluctantly smile. Thanks a lot, Mr. Underwood. Thank you! He waves as I open the door and move back into the Alright, I'm pretty much guessing uh, the demo will reach until we gather all this, I think. I think. Not sure. But maybe. <laughs> Collecting my belongings from the last period was easy since I hadn't brought any. What? Oh, look at this, Ooh, western style school, woo! Some students books are still on 
order and I haven't arrived. And haven't arrived. Most inherited old book. I linger at the I linger at my open locker in the hallway, Mr. Underwood's card in one hand and my phone in the other. Turner Underwood, assistant principal. I add him to my contacts. What's I about to ask him? Did I get paid this week? Yeah! <laughs> sure, because my time work as big. Ooh, this is neat though, Victor. And I like line schedule. You use the phone to do stuff. Hi, Mr. Underwood. It's Lane. Do you think I should record my time work? And wait. Mr. Underwood is typing. Yeah, we need to click. Good question. I will leave timekeeping to you. Keep a central written or electronic record for everyone. I slip Mr. Underwood's business card in my worn wallet. With a metal clack, I close my empty locker. The sound echo. Echo! Students who were something around me have already entered their next class. I haven't memorized my schedule yet, so I use my crumpled note from my pocket. After a confirming glance, I crinkle it back in place and walk. Wow, why do you even crumple? Especially if it's not trash. <laughs> At least I know a couple of people I can ask for Mr. Underwood's project. During lunch or this afternoon may be a good time to ask around. In the meantime, I'll plan. So we don't have any details worked out. Otherwise, I doubt I'll persuade anyone. Two students, myself included, will be guaranteed it. I'll need three more. Students are standing in irregular circles outside my destination. Oops, migrate past me while I approach two students in conversation. Booms. I don't know, she kind of like remind me of that girl from Pokemon Sword and Shield. Why not? He is strict and he lives right next to me. Doesn't matter how hard ass he is or where he hand off. Jeez, just help me out like before. I don't know. Hey. Evan spots me with a, and with a long sidelong step widens the circle of two. Why is everyone out here? Forget it, man. Either ignoring or reacting to my interruption, she moves against the flow of the distance. I noticed the classroom they had been negotiating near is empty. I think art's cancelled today. Why? I begin moving with the flow of the crowd and Evan follows beside me. It's... I don't know. She didn't come in and Coach Jean just told us to head to the gym. You mean Miss Webb? Yeah, she... Ross said she was really upset this morning. His eyes look past me and catch on a passing classroom door. Instinctively, I follow his starting glance and see nothing but a closed door. Continues doing this with each room we pass, so I decide to ignore it. Well, look it. She was trying to find a new assistant principal, but I don't know why. It's weird. What is? I don't know. It's so different this year. Oh, did you? I stumble hard and grip the handrail, but the loose railing provides no support. I release it with a jerk and catch myself on the wall instead, palms open. Beyond the inner railing, narrow gap separates the flights. The hype from the second floor creates more potent wake up call than the smell of Mr. Underwood's coffee. <laughs> Crap! That really hurts someone before it's fixed. <laughs> Alright, myself and continue downstairs. Ooh, that is nice transition. Man, they have a lot of. Artwork for each location, like this is still the school. Usually, you just have like one artwork for the school. <laughs> this is hallway after hallway after hallway, man. Wow, props, props to you, my man. Did you ask about the work study position? Mr. Underwood said he'd like me to start a group, like a paid club that helps the school. See, that's weird too. You know about the layoffs, right? And we've way less elective classes. Principal Decker must be desperate, that's all. 
So Andu would mention the school's budget was cut. That's more weird. Not less. How can they pay you? There's less stuff but not less work. They have to pay someone to do it and we're cheap. We? Yep. <laughs> I faced Evan outside the gym entrance with pep in my step. The burst of energy exhausted. It's minimum wage. You'll need to put in around 5 hours a week. I've got a lower limit of 10 since I'm organizing it. Evan scowls at the floor as I expected. I'm smiling. I don't know. I have a lot of questions and you can't lock eyes. Can I at least think about it? I wanted to do drama club this year. Of course, take your time and I'll text you the details tonight. Conveniently after I figure them out. Besides, there might not be a drama club unless someone helps out around here. <laughs> Smooth one, Lane. Smooth one. You say the group? How many people? Three more and uh, three more to get us going? Want me to ask Holly? It's probably not her thing. It doesn't hurt to ask. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, we're doing dirty to him. <laughs> uh, let's go in now. I think we're late. Oh, what? Everyone's either sitting around on playing ball. Our art class has around 20 members, and there must be well over 4 classes in here. They might as well have cancelled school today. I almost don't hear Evan over the chatter. Ross might have... Eh? Ross might have had the right idea but this time. I borrow an abandoned basketball and join the idols shooting on... In a corner of the court, wow. Evan follows long sideline. So, what were you two talking about? Nothing really. I mentioned Mr. Underwood moved into our apartment building. My shot bounces off another student's just above the rim, so I leave another ball rolling near. How did you find out? He asked me to move a couple boxes. He lives alone, I think, but he seems nice. Hmm. Sorry I didn't text you. Sorry I didn't text you back. On my next throw, the ball moves through the net with a swish. Shoop! That's... it's fine. Got some good sunset shots out there. Did you talk to the librarian? He said they found someone. And the gas station? Nothing there or the grocery. The time is off and they have enough hands. You know I can do your homework sometimes. Cover for you. My next row misses with a thud from the backboard. It's fine. I'm going to have this student group. If I do well, it's sure to be steady. Right. So what will you do? Make Mr. Underwood's coffee? I mean... Uh, I make mean mocha. <laughs> I'm serious. So am I. My shot once again intercepts another students just above the rim. A tall girl approaches us with a relaxed gre greeting. Hi. Whoa! I, I, is this visual novel about dating? I, I, is it? Is it? Because because I think I found my 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 my, my best girl, R right off the bat. She, she yeah yeah. <laughs> she addressed Evan, but I respond anyway. What's up? I I don't know how to voice her. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> It's better to take turns. I'm briefly confused and glance at Evan. Her message clicks after he nods to the basketball goal. Oh, sorry. She nods slowly and turns. Evan stops her by speaking up, which catches me off guard and her. Nat, wait. This is Lane. He's a senior too and uh... Wait, that's not Evan's voice. Gotta get that. <laughs> Nat, wait. This is Lane. He's a senior too and uh... At this point, I suspect a pattern. Did he become popular with girls? <laughs> Nat is listening patiently as Evan trails off. The answer is no, better help him. <laughs> help him, Lane. Help him. We're offering a few students a paid position at school. I just started this group to help the school administration. Since they're short staff. About 5 hours a week or so. It's a club that looks very good on your resume when you graduate. 
instant recruitment. Let's go. Please, please join. You'll be um organizing events and managing the library or the computer lab. I have no interest. As she walks away, she catches a spray basketball. It's attractive. I said it's well too. <laughs> Look at that with the <laughs> looks so <laughs> Your pitch needs work. <laughs> work on you, didn't <laughs> Aren't you worried? I'll manage. We've got until Friday to get more members. Thanks for the wingman though. You got it. How do you know her by anyway? Through Holly. He knows everyone. Pulling her in basically means we're set. Like I said. Let's say you're right. Who else? Since I no longer feel confident enough in my multitasking to avoid disturbing Ned, I led I led us to the bleachers. So. What you said earlier. They need people to manage the library. I sit with my back to the wall. Why can't you just do that? You Yeah, it makes sense. Mr. Underwood didn't make it sound like a soul student was an option there. It's that they don't want to go through the setup for a single person. How much could it even be? Enough that's not worth it, but a substantial program. I don't like it, but you should ask Alice for help. I smile and take census of the students. You're full of solutions today. Today, huh? I approach a brooding guy and drop his recline position. Hey, Kane! No, wait, don't! Evan flinches and reaches out. Whoa. If Kane is here, where is Abel? Ah. <laughs> Kane sits up as I approach and greets me with a look of recognition. Up. What's going on with Lilas? What? Sun glare. Not the response I anticipated. Your girlfriend, why isn't she with you? She steps level with me. Oh damn, son. Then glances at Coach Key. Gene. Coach is playing on his phone on the court. Then <laughs> stands taller and is much more physically imposing compared to the other student. Eh, do me. <laughs> what the fuck are you trying to say, you little shit? Nothing. I just... Just what? Wanna be funny? Get a rise out of me? My color tightens as it grips the chest of my shirt so forcefully I wonder if it will tear. No! What do you... Proxies four white legs. My hands raised defensively. He shows me into the stairs. The corner digging into my spine. I win and riff. Play stupid fucking games. Win stupid fucking prizes. Storms from stands and into the halls. Evan helps me upright. You okay, dude? Problem. They broke up over the. They broke up over the break. It's. It was really public. Really? I mean, even I knew. I know it's Nat looking at me from the court. She resumes playing. Well, I'd say that hurt my pride more if my back didn't hurt so much. Jeez. She dumped him, apparently. And told everyone he was a woman as a pig failure. Poisonous fool. Specific. He posted it online. I've been too busy working to be plugged in. <laughs> I know. It only seems to hurt worse when I mess massage the area, so I stopped tempting. <laughs> I'll catch Alice over lunch. Think she'll join? I don't know. Probably. Crazy asshole. I spent time recovering in Evan's company until our next class. As my sounding board, Evan helps think out more of the group's jobs. We at least become more familiar with the idea. The dean of the cafeteria discomforts, discomforts me. Is that a word? Wow. They have really cool cafeteria. Not like how my uh, not like how my school used to be. <laughs> Energetic freshmen socialize with a few outgoing upperclassmen. 
I don't see Evan, but I scan carefully for my target. Despite the noise, there are fewer students than last year's usual. I might be wrong about that, since Mr. Underwood said there were more students overall. The room disperses the aroma of the kitchen. Chicken strip day. Reliable as ever. <laughs> I don't find who I'm looking for, but I spot a familiar face. A short girl sits alone at the end of the table. Oh. What the heck is that? I, that's an ornament, isn't it? That, that's, that, that's gotta be an ornament. Just staring at the food expressionless, as if separated by miles. I decide I'll put an end to that and sit across from her. It's funny to see so many empty seats around you. She flinches at dropping a plastic fork. Oh! <laughs> I can't do high voices. <laughs> oh, hi there! All this radiant beaming at me. You're right. Where is everyone? She steals my fork. I was gonna ask you that, honestly. Well, this, repre this presents an opportunity. Or Getting up. I haven't seen you since forever. You got huge. You just shrank. I have a green eye begin drain my finger food. <laughs> my vast cuteness has simply reached maximum density. You're dense, huh? If a fork flourish, it's a little too close to my face, she retorts without hesitation. What the hell? You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. I didn't say I didn't like it. She giggles and clears her throat. Good. Now then, dear wanderer, why hast thou? <clears throat> now then, dear wanderer, why hast thou approached my spring after so many years? Weeks, you mean? The break isn't that long. Every day without sufficient worship is another scar upon my soul, an affront to my divinity. Awfully needy for a goddess. The library kept me occupied. <laughs> Working, of course. Boring as usual. <laughs> Responsible has a better ring to it. What were you doing then? Oh, great one. She hesitates. Yes, preparing for the harvest. I think she changed her number over the break. I can read the mood, so don't pry for the... Well, I hope my current tribute will make up for my heresy. It's a start. A little finger strays the edge of a tree. Her untouched food must be cooked by now. Things will pick up next week. Speaking of work though. Oh. Her positive expression dissipates. I'm studying a student union and we could use a mascot. Interested? She scoffs and <laughs> with a regained smile. What? That's a new one. Brand Daddy didn't mention it. So it must be a brand new scheme. Mr. Underwood's brainchild, cheap labor, resume building. Through valiant effort, I avoid talking with my mouth full. <laughs> Figures. Granddaddy said Principal Decker was desperate for new ideas. Are you in? You can just sign up on paper, contribute, or hang out as you feel like. I'm not sure what the level of commitment expected by doing to correct myself. <laughs> she pauses for a few seconds before shaking her head. Oh, it would probably be stressful. Come on, I'll pick you up your slack. You won't have to if I'm not joining. She's gripping her tray, the tendons in her hand visible. Okay, okay, I'll just let you know how it goes. Are you gonna eat all that? Oh, no. Go ahead, text me. Thanks. She grips my wrist as I reach for food. But, know this. The blood debt will be paid. Hello, you one, okay? Hey, I shall hold you intimately to the promise, wanderer. You miss a Dao. Ever gonna get tired of being so silly? It's not silly, it's fun. Don't people make fun of you? At this age, I almost, I almost am. <laughs> My supreme adorability grants me safe passage. I can make fun of you if you're feeling left out. <laughs> Her expression becomes difficult to read, but only for a moment. I'm not. Hey, mind if I sit with you? Evan stands beside the table waiting permission to intrude. Just as I'm about to tell him it's fine, Holly beats me to it. 
Another one joins the plan. See snail traveler. I'll just sit. What took you? Calculus is no joke this year. This expression is palpable. With a few extra newtons, he pops down. Really? Did you find your limit? I'm now, I'm now torn asunder between two, two beauties. <clears throat> yeah, hold. Uh, uh, she. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, she, she's cute as well. She, she, she's cute. She's cute, but uh, she, she's not my type. But. <laughs> Mm. Her hairstyle changed over the break, so it takes me a second to recognize her. She looks at me with a grin, which helps drop my memory pretty quick. Welcome to the Foul Feast. <laughs> Welcome to the Foul Feast! Holly bounces with enthusiasm and bumps shoulders with Alice. <laughs> Thank you. You like Mr. Underwood's class? I respect the man. It's a good instructor. Speaking of, I'd like to talk to you. Oh. I glance at Evan whose expression tells me the plans off. Mr. Underwood told me about the student union. I'll be joining, of course. Great. As the president, naturally. My smile fades. I've been wanting it. <laughs> I've been wanting an opportunity like this for a while. To really start making some changes around here. It took someone new in the administration to incite the shakeup. But I suppose that's how it goes. I'm glad you're into it, but... Mr. Underwood already agreed. The valedictorian... Valedictorian leading the charge makes for compelling sell to the school board. Sensing conflict, <laughs> Holly shrieks Evan eats his meal. I'm the best at it for seeing this through. I lean forward on my empty tray. Did he mention how many hours I get? He said I need to give at least 10 hours weekly to manage the group, but we're not sure how utilized members will be. You can always work less. I'll make sure to have someone cover for you. I stand up from the table, train one hand, my other shoving into my pocket. Excuse me. Moving away promptly, I slap the food tray onto the recycled stack and step into the hall. I hang my phone to here and listen to the dial out noise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't talk now. What do we need? Alice wants to be president. Where does that leave me? If Alice would like to try for the spot, the fair approach will be democratic. Founding members will vote for the president Friday. If. I tuck my phone away and return to the cafeteria. Holly excused herself from our table. I wonder if it's because she was done. <laughs> well, I think so. I know so. With that, I can pull a group together in no time. Alex, did you even talk to Mr. Underwood? My confrontation is met with a smirk. What are you saying? President's position will be put to vote Friday. That's quite fair. I can argue with that, I suppose. Frustrated, I sit. It is, and you're outnumbered. It won't do for you to intimidate others. We both look at Evan, who won't look either of us straight on. I'm with Lane, sorry. Of course, it's consistent. Fine, I soon have followers of my own. With an infused tap on the table, she stands. Well then, gentlemen. I do look forward to establishing bipartisan solutions after my swearing in ceremony. Even I look at each other in silence, Alice acts uncharacteristically shy about us judging her. <laughs> ah, she has a potty face. She has a potty face. For now, I hope to have. For now, I hope to have spirit competition. I'll beat you both. Adieu. After she leaves, I turn to Evan. What were you talking about while I was gone? She was brainstorming ways to recruit people quickly. And? The short version is to make false promises. 
get lots of students to join on that basis, have the group established, then let things settle however they settle. Seriously? That sounds like a recipe for disaster. Mr. Underwood will lose respect for me if he found out. He might even fire me. <laughs> but think about it. Yes. Has he given any specific instructions? A few. So it's reasonable. Expected even. A student acting on his own wouldn't get all the details. Wouldn't get all the details straight, you see. I'm not incompetent. Doesn't matter. He's taking risks by letting you figure things out alone. He wouldn't be he wouldn't be able to justify firing you. After it's already set up anyway, and I'm not doing that. But you need the money. If Alice does it, then I might get less work from the school. Big fucking deal. <laughs> at my snap, he flinches and looks at the remainder of his lunch. Okay. Are you gonna finish? You can have the rest. Thanks. Inelegantly, I pocket last morsel and not long after, we move on to finish up. Finish out the day's classes. Okay. Wait, does the day already pass? There's no time indicator though. So I don't really know. Normally I like the last class of the day, but not this time. Light show from behind catches me off guard. I turn quickly. Booms! Dear developers, I would like to know who's your artist. For they have design, or whoever is designing the characters has been hitting all my okay thoughts. Mm. A professionally dressed woman blushes, I recognize her since she's been a fixture of the school for as long as I can remember. That's the principal. That's the principal? Are you freaking kidding? That's the principal? What? I thought when I heard Principal Decker, I imagined an old guy or something, but what? What? Are you freaking serious? Really? Uh, excuse me, it's a big crowd right here between classes. He smiles from me and does my upper back. My face flushes and I watch the crowd flowing past the smoke. It's really okay, no problem. She waits through the students with more care and those that recognize her makeup path. Whoa, that short skirt though. I finished walking through the door to my last class. Study hall bothers me. <laughs> Do Westerners fit in like that? I mean like... I remember I only sit in those kind of chairs during exams <laughs> in university. Wow. I sign up for this period that much is true, however I doubt anyone has appre here appreciates the situation. No textbook to study yet, no assignment to complete, no talking, assigned seating. Push Jean idols on his cell phone, one clever student brought their own book to read, a few others wrote notebooks. After a tap on my shoulder, a subtle exchange, a note reaches my desk. Pull the fire alarm. Code. Eight tally marks under yes, three under no. I crumple into my pocket to end the game. I'm being worn out, maybe I'll nap. <laughs> Who does that, man? Between the fire alarm and the bell, I'd be covered for alarm clocks. I let my head to rest. My forearms and close my eyes, and then it happened. Oh, you're finally awake. My head hurts. X. I roll my palm over the back of my head, fingers slipping through my head on my scalp. Texture of little bumps cling to my hair, round sensitive area, soft clumps collapse beneath my undernails. I'm breathing. Sitting up through a burst of dizziness, I hold one side of the desk for balance and pull my hand in front of me. Ruddy residue of dried blood stains my palm. Ooh, so this is where the good stuff happens, huh? Huh? 
Ah, so this is where the good stuff happens, huh? I don't think I'm bleeding anymore. Kind of hard. Focus. You got you got knocked out, man. I checked my phone's clock. After pressing past the low battery notification, I see that it's almost 8.30 p.m. My sore back and throbbing head pins me not to stop and brood. I struggle into the empty hall, each step with increased equilibrium. Though it's dark, I'm able to I'm able to find the entrance via via the faint light of my phone and from the hall windows. The front door doesn't give way. Um, I try again. Don't on me that I'm locked in school. Ooh. Survey the door, hall, and nearby windows. No luck in finding an easy exit. Just when I'm about to call Mr. Underwood, my phone dies. Oops. Shut down it. Great. Camping here isn't going to kill me, but I'd rather not. I carefully move down the hall to investigate the first floor. Anyone here? My voice echoes. Many of the classrooms were unlocked and those there aren't hold no signs of life. As I near the complete pass of the first floor, I hear a single foot from the ceiling. What's that? I step closer to the main stairwell, which is poorly lit. Hello? A louder thud replies. What was that? Still dizzy. Oh, that's the, that's the broken guardrail just now. Cautiously, I move up the stairs using both hands for support. There's terrible lighting here. I can't see a thing. I get to the end of the railing at the top of the flight and move to my hands and knees for better support. I'm crawling up the stairs while hugging the wall. Everything's sorry. The boom of a door slamming causes me to flinch. I hesitate but continue upward. Words catch my drying throat. My hand touches something in the darkness. Something warm and wet like the inside of a mouth. Is it, I think it's a pool of blood. Pulling back quickly, I my knees skid down one stair below. I stop and listen. Nothing. I wipe my damn hand on my jeans and continue moving up, taking great care to avoid that area. From the top of the stairs, there's the hall is illuminated by a lit open classroom. I don't see any open lit classroom. What the hell? Finally, I move my, I move to my feet and sidle to the door. How do you pronounce that word? I learned new word today. I peer inside to see wide eyes staring back at me. What? Oh. Ah. Ah. I cover my heart and jump at the same time she sees me. Her fright flips through irritation. You. What are you doing here? Mrs. Webb. <laughs> Nothing. What is Turner got you doing now? No, no. I'm trying to go home. The door's locked. Why are you here? The closest distance between us. I... I fell asleep. I couldn't stop it from sounding like an excuse. She glances at the clock. Really? You nap over six hours, huh? I'm sorry. I was embarrassed. I bumped my head at the gym today and fell asleep during study hall. Let me see. She inspects my head with her finger and I wince. The expression softens. Oh, are you alright? Are you alright? I heard a lot of noise up here. I was unpacking and setting up materials for tomorrow's class. There are several cardboard boxes behind her in the classroom, one of which is empty. Paper, pencils, puzzles, markers, newspapers, sketchbooks, and other supplies are splayed out on the floor. I heard a door. Look, let's get you sorted and call your parents. He praises me. Please. You even got blood in your pants. Why did you tell someone? Look at my tie, I confirmed myself and turned toward the stairwell. What's your name? Uh, Lane. My phone my phone died. I didn't. What's their number? I look back at her. Who's? I oh I don't remember. Okay, I'll look it up. Come on then. Takes me by the wrist and leads me to the administrative side. Enter an office door labeled Principal Decker. Motion on the couch after flicking on the light. Don't sit down. I obey. The office is plain, but the couch looks expensive. 
<laughs> the notebooks and manila folders lean off the desk in various stacks. Okay. Last name? Fox. Lane Fox. Wow. That name. It forests her brow and moves from one filing cabinet to another. Um, Mrs. Webb? Miss Webb? I forgot MRS if Mrs. Yeah, they get. Yes? Did you buy those art supplies? As she turns to me, her butt bumps the <laughs> paper stack, sending its contents wafting to the floor. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny when I say it like that. <laughs> oh, fuck me! <laughs> she goes to her knees to collect the mess and I help her. Yes, I did. Why? Otherwise, we wouldn't have any. I'll clean this. You can keep looking for my file. She moves a strand of hair behind her ear and eyes me. Then she follows my suggestion. After a quiet minute, a few quiet minutes, I've sorted the pages into two separate stacks on the desk. I open the desk drawer and pull out an half-empty bottle of wine. Uh, don't touch your personal items. Miss Webb snatches it from me and sets the bottle back on in the desk before closing it definitive, definite, eh? definitively. What the? Sorry. Miss Webb hops. Also, not actually attending school. Your record is missing. Oh, Mr. Underwood might still have my file. Ah. <sighs> What's your address? My record is probably in his office. We can just go check, right? No. It would be rude to intrude when he's not around. I look around at the room. <laughs> she recognizes the inconsistency too. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I'll just drive you home. Come on. Oh, wait. You, you're gonna come back to finish unpacking? I haven't decided. Come on. I'm sorry if my voice heard really weird. I mean, I'm not really even a voice actor or anything, I'm just, I'm just playing around. With impatience, she moves out of the office, turning the lights off on me before I follow. Why don't I check? Why don't I help you? We can go twice as fast. You realize you probably had a concussion, don't you? I feel a lot better after the nap. She spins on her heel to address me. You are going home, young man. Okay, alright. Yes, ma'am. Please wait here. She collects her purse from the art room, leaving me alone in the dim hall. My head is still throbbing, so foregoing helping her unpack is probably for the best. I place my hands in my pockets and realize the one which held those two notes is now empty. Ooh. My schedule is gone and so is that fire alarm note. We we'll use the emergency exit stairs to get to the parking lot faster. Miss Webb moves ahead of me and in the opposite direction of the pitch black stairwell. I follow. Won't we set off the fire alarm? We should, but it's broken. That's probably against some regulation, right? I should put it on your to-do list for your club. We walk from the exit stairs. Wait, how did she know? How did she know? Something's wrong here. How did she know? I tell her my dress and we start the drive. After a couple of minutes of silence, I break the ice. Sorry for the trouble. She glances at me and fades. How did you fall? I, I don't remember exactly. I look out the passenger side window. Do you remember none exactly? If you're being bullied, I need to know. It's not that honest. Well, a bum on the head gives you a pass. Please be more careful. The ride is quiet again. I'm not sure for how long my mind wanders. Your project with Turner, Mr. Underwood, was it your idea or his? I think both. I asked what I could do to help for a part time job and he re recommended it. What's your decision? Is something you want to do? I hesitate. Definitely, yeah. You want to join? She loves slow. I'm not a student anymore. I've had my fill of groups in college. 
Maybe we can help you for a start. I can come in early tomorrow and help you finish unpacking. You're dead set on it, huh? Focus returns to the road. If you mean it, I'll be in that classroom around 7. There's no pressure though. It would take us no more than 30 minutes. Thanks. Do you want my number? <laughs> Are you always so bold or just with that head? <laughs> Are you always so bold or just with a head injury? I feel my cheeks flash. Wow. <laughs> wow. Even I didn't realize that. <laughs> Yeah, she caught us off guard, man. No, oh, but thank you. You can call the school and ask for me if you need to. Why not? Is this it? We've arrived at my place. Miss Webb pulls the car closer to the parking area. Yeah, the one on the left. Thank you for the ride. There are no cars parked next to the building and all lights are off. Miss Webb looks like she's about to ask me something, but it seems to change. No problem. Do you have a key to get in? Yeah, I'm good. Alright, see you at school. Web waits for me to go inside before driving away. 